Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman, MMAForSelfDefense.com. I'm going to show you one of my favorite takedowns, most energy efficient takedowns, and a couple variations of that. And that's the Ochigari in Judo or the Inner Reap in wrestling. Um, and then a couple different ways to do it for MMA purposes. Number one way, most energy efficient way, is the way Akira Shoji did it to everybody he's ever fought, basically. Against huge guys like Semi Shield, 6'11, against good wrestlers like Guy Mesger. Little Shoji was really a fat 185 pounder guy, was able to take down all these guys with good technique on this. So, the first way I'll show you is from the over under position. Okay, we're wrestling in here from the over under position. I got my overhook, I got my underhook here. I use the underhook as a puller, and I step back. Okay, again, I use the underhook as a puller as I do my back pivot like I do for striking. I make him step. I want him to step and load his weight on this leg. Okay, so go back. So wrestle with him here. Okay, I'm going to pull him in. Hook the leg. And land on top. Usually you get caught in the guard in this. I was able to pass. Okay, kind of try it in the guard. You know, act like Over here, we're striking. We're doing knees. We're doing punches to the body. Punches to the back here. Okay. You're going to pull him with the puller and then hook the leg. So I actually go on my legs for this one. I'm going to pull him with the puller. See, I'm going to make him take that step. I'm going to pull him with the underhook up high. Make him take that step. As there's no weight on that leg, about when he's about to put weight down on the ground, he thinks psychologically, I'm going to hook the leg. Inside grip, and then we're down. Okay, and I'm in here ready to go to work. So. I pull him and hook on the inside of the leg. So you're moving in, action, reaction, he drives in. That's the best way. You're driving in, you strike, he drives back in. Pull him, hook the leg, and down. Okay, so that's the number one way. Number two way, that's energy efficient. That's why it's a great takedown. Number two way is if you're feeling stronger than the guy, you have a lot of energy, you train hard, and he's gassing and you're not, maybe your cardio is up to par for the fight. Then it's more like Fedor Milinenko Sambo style, maybe. Sometimes I hook his leg. That's what I'm going to hook his leg and take him this way. And this way I make sure I pass the guard into half guard, half mount. Okay, so that's more of a power move. I'm jet, instead of taking him to the back corner, the first one is judo. If we're in this position, taking him to the back right rear quarter. This one, I'm going to take him to the back left rear quarter. I'm going to hook inside the leg. And I'm going to pull him, to the hook inside the leg, and hop and push. And load it. Okay. So I'm going to pull in on the leg and load him up. I'm going to hook, hook this way and then load him up to this quarter by pull, I'm sorry. Lifting up high, steering wheel style, chopping down with this one, lifting with this one, and hooking the leg and going to that foot. So we're wrestling. Push, push it, push it. Ooh. See, I can even clear the guard that way sometimes. Alright? Yeah. Okay, so that one's a worse throw on your partner and the guy you're fighting. You have to have more energy for it. The last one is more wrestling style. This is from the overhook side. The other two are from the underhook side, which I prefer. But if uh, this guy keeps not letting me get my favorite underhook side, I have an overhook on this arm. What you can do is the same setup, pull him in, but go much lower, hook the leg, and then fall on it, basically. So pull weight in, pull weight in, drive it in. I'm going to come, hook, and go down to the ground. Okay, cutting at that angle of that back rear quarter, okay, like the hands on a clock, go to 3 o'clock, okay, but facing him is 12 o'clock. Right here, I hook inside the leg and then fall on it. Here, get the leg, hook here, okay, so that's more wrestling style with the overhook side. I'll do it one more time. Right here, all right, knee, shoulder. Okay, then in a good position to pass. From there, we're in a double heel hook from there. Okay. So guys, those are your inner trips, your Ochigari, three different ways to use it for MMA. Thank you, Christian. I'm Dan the Wolfman.
Facebook or MMAforsoftDefense.com.